So let's come in here and uh, rotate that guy. Mm. Let's rotate that um, in X 10 degrees in my case, so that um, you know the one spoke here is right in the center of the, of the grid. That's going to help later on if we, you know, just cut the, cut this piece out and rotate that. So it's it's a good idea to to rotate that. Okay, so now we are going to um, insert um, a few splits in here. Um, let me go to the side view. Mm, I want to split this thing um, right up here, um, close to the outer ring, um, and to to split, you know. The one spoke, um, or the other spoke, at the same spot. Um, let me have a look uh, at on the inputs here. So this, um, the weight up here means um, oh, we set a split between two um, edges. So that's the one edge, and the uh, edge on the outer ring. Um, that's the second edge. So if you set uh, a split between two edges, this is going to tell you, okay, how close um, is the, the split to yeah, either the, the one um, um, edge here or the other edge. So in this case, it's um, close to, to one, a weight of one would be um, you know up here on the outer ring and a weight of zero would be down here at the, the inner ring, okay? so. Let's um yeah just to remember that number uh, it's um point uh, nine nine one so let's uh, insert an another split on the other spoke and just uh, type in point zero zero uh, nine nine one okay so that uh, gives you yeah the the ability to to set the, um, um, a split at the exact same spot. Uh, like you did before on, on that spoke here. So adds, uh, <coughs> um, excuse me, let's uh, add a few splits more here. Um, let's do one up here. Um, let me check that out. It's uh, 0.267. Um, put that in here. Um, go to that. 0.267. Okay, and let's add another one. All right. Under that, uh, it's, I think that's that's okay. Could be a little bit closer, mm, like that. Yeah. Okay. So again, so this time the weight is uh, point nine oh five. Okay. So let's do the same up here. Nine oh five. Okay, so let's add one more. Go down here. Mm -hmm. So this is point one six four. Um, and again, just add it uh, on the second spoke. Um, oh, that was close. Point one six four. Okay, so now we got. Um, like I said before, we got the same um, the same splits uh, at the exact uh, same um, spot on on both uh, spokes. Okay, so let's check that out. Um, if we smooth that, we should see a little bit uh, different result than we had before. Okay, so yeah, that's looking pretty good. So let's go on. Okay, so let's uh, tweak that rim a little bit more. So hit one to go to low poly view. Mm. Okay, so let me bring in uh, the inner ring a little bit more. Um, to do that, uh, let's select a few uh, vertices here. Uh, let's select all of those. And then uh, deselect the ones in the background that we don't want to push in, so okay, we got the three left here. So hit Control to deselect. Um, okay, it should be good. So push those in just a little. Mm, yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so select those vertices right here. Mm. 
and let's bring those out. Mm, okay, so let's have a look. Mm, that looks good. Okay, so now what I want to change is um, if you take a look on that, you see this is um, yeah. I don't like this edge right here. So if you take a look on the on the image in the background, it's it's yeah way more rounded shape. So let's try to mimic that. Mm -hmm. To do this, um, select a few faces here, the inside faces. Go to face. Select this one, this one. So I'm just uh, shift selecting the faces. So I got um, all the six faces selected, and delete those. Um, okay, now I'm gonna connect um, the spokes together. Um, select you know two vertices right here, and then go to merge. So it should automatically um, merge those um, right in the center um, together. So select the next two vertices merge those and the next two hit G on my keyword to repeat last tool and once again so there you go um, select the object go to smooth and now you can see that it's um, yeah it looks better than before I mean it's not perfect but at least it it's getting more and more rounded um, Okay, so we leave it for now like it is. Um, yeah, and the next thing I'm going to do is um, yeah to insert um, that dent uh, on the outer rings that you can see uh, on the on the background image. To do that, um, that's simple. Just uh, select the face, select the face ring. Um, do an extrude. Um, click on that scale button here, and then scale that down. Uh, just to yeah, let's kind of like eyeball it. Yeah, I think that's that's okay. And then hit G to repeat the uh, extrude um, tool again, and then bring that in just a little.